Please, Master Volney. My work is accredited by the Shaper. These books are lies written by the enemies of House Volney. I write only what I find in the ancient records. Lady Idukin, you can vouch for my work, can't you? Your father loved my history of Idukin, Paragon King, Peacemaker. The king, as well as several other lords, are quite fond of his work. He writes of the ancient paragons. This worm has written a book that slanders my house. He deserves to die for what he has written of Paragon Volney. He says that Volney, the paragon who founded my house, known throughout the world as the greatest of men, was a fraud. Not precisely. When the Assembly names a Paragon, that man or woman is then, by definition, everything one can aspire to be in the world. They form their own noble houses and are revered as living ancestors. But Paragons start off as men. Volney was more than a man. Idukin was much loved, but he was still a man. He was plagued by melancholy and his fervor regarding Orzammar's safety bordered on obsession. When Idukin was proposed as a paragon, only one lord in the assembly objected. The others savagely hacked him to death. Idukin's motion passed without a single dissenting vote. Unlike Volney, is that what you mean, old man? Volney became a paragon by the narrowest margin in history. One vote. A vote mired in rumors of intimidation, intrigue, and outright bribery. The records of that vote are kept in the shape of it, and are a matter of fact. Not liking history doesn't make it any less true. You're taking his side? What if he published a book like this about your paragon, Idukin? You would not say so if it was your house, but I shall respect your wishes. For now, excuse me, your highness. That fool has no idea how weak his house is or how low he sits in it. Shall I have him killed, my lady? Well, historically, it has been prudent to eliminate a small threat before it becomes larger. As you say. You've shown House Idukin a friend to research, history, and the glory of our people. Of course. Heroism and pity for the small man have always been hallmarks of House Idukin. Now, I must try to make sense of these notes. Good day, Your Highness. And thank you. <laughs>